Hey there! This video is going to be talking to you about consecutive odd integers and consecutive even integers. Let's go ahead and talk about the consecutive odd integers first. Here are two sets of examples. You have the integers 3, 5, and 7. Those are all consecutive odd integers as well as negative 3, negative 1, and positive 1. So you'll notice a pattern that to go from the first consecutive odd integer to the next, you would simply add 2. 3 plus 2 gives you 5. In order to go from the first consecutive odd integer to the third consecutive odd integer, you'll notice that that is an increase of 4. 3, the first consecutive integer, plus 4 will give you 7. Same thing with your bottom example here. Let's go ahead and talk about consecutive even integers. Here are two examples, 2, 4, 6, so on and so forth, and negative 8, negative 6, and negative 4, so on and so forth. So to go from your first consecutive even integer of 2 to get to 4, you would simply add 2. And then to get to the third consecutive integer, you'd be adding 4, so 2 plus 4 gives you 6. And the same pattern works for the example below. Now, what if I told you that you did not know the value of the first consecutive odd integer or even integer? In that case, we're going to call it x. So without using another new variable, how would you write an algebraic expression to represent the second consecutive odd or even integer if the first one is x. Think about these patterns that we had discussed at the very top. How do we go from the first consecutive odd integer or even integer to get to the next? Look at your patterns. The pattern would be to add 2 to the first consecutive odd or even integer. What would be the expression to find the third consecutive odd or even integer? That would be x plus 4. Can you guess what the algebraic expression would be to find the fourth consecutive odd or even integer? I hope you have in your head x plus 6. I'll be applying this concept to a separate video tutorial and applying it to a word problem. So please go ahead and check that out. I hope that helped.